stop. You can't say that. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm gonna do with that. You can just bleep it. No, I'm not. We can't continue bleeping things. Oh, I'm not it's, gonna, it's so to... funny. <laughs> Fine. Yes. <laughs> Fine. Oh man, Ethan, it's been a while since it's just been you and me in the couch. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't mean I didn't mean it that way. And the <laughs> yeah, no, I don't even, gosh, and welcome back, guys, to B and E Pot. I I, don't, I let Ben do the intro for one <laughs> one episode. Welcome back, guys, to the B and E Podcast. podcast. Uh, this is episode thirteen. Oh, unlucky. Thirteen. Oh, what's gonna happen? I don't know. What's gonna happen? Uh, and today is Wednesday. Mm. Wednesday. I feel like we, we maybe it's been a while since we've really broken down what's going on. Oh my goodness. In our lot, like you know <coughs> what's, what's going on. Uh, I'll tell you. As of today, these last couple of weeks, let's. Um, I'm stressed out, Ethan. What's going on, Ben? Well, my philosophy paper mm-hmm. is thirty percent of my grade. That's due on Monday, and I am not very far along on it. <laughs> How many uh, how many pages? It has to be five pages. Has to be five pages. Mm-hmm. What's the what's the prompt? Is morality objective or subjective? And what are your thoughts on that? Well, I morality. don't know. Morality. So it's morality. Like, uh, morality. Is like okay. Is morality right? Like right and wrong. Mm-hmm. Is there a definite ethics. Ethics. ethics? Is there a definitive? Right and or wrong in this universe, and if so, can we define it? Hmm. I don't know about the definition. I don't know about the definition. I feel like <coughs> there's, whew, there is. I'm gonna say there is a right and a wrong. So then you would say they are objective. I would say morality is objective. Okay. But I don't know what. I don't know who who makes the rules around here. <laughs> I think well, who makes I, a rule? Who's a boss around here? I think that it is objective, but I'm not. I'm not sure. Once you get down, I'm, I'm gonna say they're objective. I'm gonna say okay. they're objective. I'll, I'll leave it at that. All right. Um, so do you know? Like, I, I, have, I don't know if I asked. Well, now that the the recitation teacher sort of let it slip that he'll be grading them based on whether or not he agrees with the. Paper. Which kind of takes so, away. <laughs> so, so he kind of said it in in he kind of said it in jest. But is that how we? N- talk? No, but you know he go he went like, um, yeah, depending on uh you know how will you write it you know if I agree with you you know depending that and then he, then he kind of trailed off and he's like anyway. So the, they're gonna play a little bit into his. <clears throat> I, I'm thinking I ballpark. have to. Yeah. I'm thinking I have to. Uh, how far are you along? You're you don't feel comfortable with where you're at. No. With the paper, Mm-mm. do you think you can? Oh yeah, I can do it. You can do it. Yeah, yeah. I um, I think starting it's the hard part. St- yeah, getting on a roll. Yeah. I um, when is it due? Monday. Monday. Okay, I have a paper due on Friday. What? Friday. For what class? Reading popular literature. Oh, you were telling me about this yeah, one. Yes, so this one is paper two. Just kind of expanding on more Whoa. thoughts. About post truth, post earth, post truth, post truth. I thought you said post truth. I was like, what? Uh, and so right now I have I have to do uh, essentially two pages single spaced, but it's four to five pages double spaced. But essentially yeah. I have to just oh 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 a yeah. call. I wonder if it's your mom. Yeah, it is. Um. Okay. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Oh, volleyball game? Okay. Okay, love you. Bye. I like your shirt. Thank you. It's, it's, I, this is one of my favorite shirts. Iron brush tattoo. It's a nice blue. Yeah. Or purple, maybe? <coughs> I think it's a blue. Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll say uh, Lavender. No, not like No, that. like a deep, it's kind of a like deep just, blue with a, a hint of purple, maybe. Uh, hint we of lavender. We can cut that part out or something, right? Yeah. yeah. The the marvels of technology, they never yeah. cease. Never. Um, where were, yeah, so paper on Friday. It's right now, it's it's kind of a, I'm about 
halfway done. I'm a little over halfway done with like the with the sheer mass of it all. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the, what, what's taking up that mass doesn't make a lot of sense. And so I'm basically, I'm basically, my plan is to write as much as I can, get all the ideas out there, yeah, and then go back and compile. Because right now it's a solid, it's a paragraph of single space, twelve point font that expands for one and a half pages. So I have to go back, basically boil it down, and yeah. separate it into paragraphs, mm-hmm. and then revise it as I know how. Um, would you say so, you're a, okay. so you'd you'd call yourself a like a not a one draft kind of per- writer? Uh, no. No, absolutely not. I, that's what I'd call myself. A one draft writer. Yeah, yeah, I do notice that that you just kind of think of that's cuz you're you, I don't know. You've um you've you've really gotten down a um I I think it's a mindset when you're writing. Yeah. I think you've gotten down a mindset when you're writing. So as you as you're writing, you're kind of you're stuck into this but I, I don't have a and I, I've never written anything like creative I've never well, except for that one story when the, the, the black plague remember that one there's this guy this pottery guy right so Ethan wrote this story many years ago not many years ago like two years ago um, there's this pottery this pottist if you will what would you uh-huh. call a pottery guy uh, a uh, I don't know yeah so a guy the pottist right Pottery maker man. Well, it'd be clay. It'd be potter. What? What? I feel like we're missing a word. A potter. <laughs> a potter. <laughs> I feel like we're missing. It. There's a word. There's a word like a kiln. Uh, like like that. you know how last names are used are based yeah. on what their jobs were. Yeah. Like Harry Potter. The his, descendants his descendants were descendants potters. Were potters. Okay. They well, yeah, we'll pot- go with that. <laughs> we'll go with that. So anyway. Uh, Ethan wrote this story about this potter that um, was hell bent on making the greatest pot of all time, like like a like a rotund. It could hold water. It could be a ju- and, you know the greatest pot ever, right? So then um, uh, it take it takes place during the Dark Ages, right? So he shuts himself away, and then as he's making this pot outside, the Black Plague is raging across the. Landscape. World landscape, right? <laughs> and then, then finally, he creates this pot, and he's like, "Yes, I've done it, right?" And then he, then he opens the door up, and everyone's dead. <laughs> and he's like, "What?" And then he trips and falls and dies. That I don't remember that. I do. I remember it vividly. I w- I wish we could have some. If there was some record, if there was some way to. It was only like a page and a half, I think. Huh. Yeah. I the thing when you when you talk when you. Say it. I can like ima- I imagine. I can kind of picture it. Yeah. It's just I don't know when I would have written it. Yeah. That okay. So that story I think is funny. Like it's, yeah. when I hear you telling me that story, it's like I'm hearing it from a different. It's like mm-hmm. you're telling me a story that someone else wrote because I don't remember it. Mm-hmm. The only other thing that I'm really, that I really can look back on and it's like a piece of like writing. I'm putting air quotes. Yeah. Is that blackout poem? Yeah. That was, oh, we, we need other... to work on that blackout book. Oh poem. yeah. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know if you heard that. No. There was a there was a, a whoop. It uh, was a, a yop. Uh, a barbaric yop. Yeah. yeah. Bringing my outside. Who wrote that Walt Whitman. Oh. I sound my barbaric yop over the rooftops I don't know. or whatever. Oh yeah. No, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, we do need to work on that black. At the beginning of the year, we worked on this. We started this uh, blackout, blackout poem book. book yeah. Where every page we would switch back and forth. There's and some good ones in there black. already. There, I think there are. How many do you think we finished? Like 13, 14 maybe? Yeah, probably. But we drew a picture. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we drew a picture near all of them. And so I enjoy that. Should we read some of them? I think, yeah. Right. Let's uh, grab it. The one that the one that I can really remember, back, it was in Mr. Jacob's class, was the, uh, what, what, it, what was it? What did it say? It was she. Oh. It was. Uh, uh, oh, dear, she said. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, dear, she said. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I'll have eggs, toast, and coffee. Yeah. And then or something it ended like that. And it was very quaint, and I kind of enjoyed writing that. But like a blackout poem, if you, for those of you who may not know, you take like a page of a book or a or something, and it, it typically works with one with more words, and you just go through and you make a poem by blacking out most of the sentence and leaving just a few to create a new sentence on your own. This book that we <laughs> that we brought, it only has like. 
It's called Bright Horizons, a collection. So if you want to go out and follow along. Yeah. Um, it only <laughs> has a, a few sentences every page, so it's kind of hard to... Copyright 1967. Mm-hmm. Property of Independent School District, New York Mills, Minnesota. I think this this book has some... Uh, it has some character. It does. It has a nice cover. And I think... Hardback. Yeah. All right, here's the first one. Before breakfast, Wood took the German for a walk. Oh. That's cute. That's nice. A lot of them I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> now the next one. All right, this next one's called... Or it just goes like this. Every Wood Block. Some of them have the sense... Since, oh, did you... What? What was that? I don't know. What happened? Do you ever hear, like, phantom sounds? I just thought I heard like that announcement, like the PA start. Really? Start up, yeah. That's weird. No, I, it's a, when you're using the same book and it doesn't have a lot of words. Sometimes you'll end up with the same, uh, you'll end up with the same words over and over. So I think for these first ones, you'll notice there's a little bit of a, a dog theme. And this one is my favorite, and I am being dead serious. I would get this tattooed on me. <laughs> okay, people go home. Dogs run in the street. Yeah, I like that one. Too. That's it's it's beautiful. I love it. One sad brown eye ought to run, don't you think? <laughs> that was a, <laughs> oh look at that. You've went for a uh, I like Ben's picture on this one, this one especially. Uh, there's like a, there's three dogs and one of them is kind of in a downward dog pose and it has a little uh, what would you call that? A uh, looking seeing like eyeball. A, a seeing eyeball in front of it. Seeing eye The next one has a little eyeball. wizard hat and the third one is sleeping and it has a little wand. Aw. He had an idea. All right, he said. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. That's a really good one. I like one. that one. <laughs> <laughs> this one's bad. This one's, uh, this okay. one's bad. Okay, the, this one goes like this. Me climbs stairs. He felt proud of himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at, look at those birds. Whoa. Is this like... Um, it's all one, okay. I believe. The missus was always yelling at was the missus the missus was always yelling at him. Don't don't don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, oh, look at that! How much was that? how many were? Did we actually? So we got one, one, two, th- three, four, five, six, seven. Well, seven. that seemed like it seemed like we did a lot more. Yeah, did, you know, there, there, it's a uh, kind of time consuming. We ended up we did it every night. Yeah, like we did it. We switched off every night. That was it. Was it was before school actually started though? So oh, we didn't yeah. have stuff so we didn't to go realize on. That there was like we, there was a storm things. brewing. Yeah, but we've made uh, we've made cute little. There's old drawings on all the pages because it's a picture book, so you can kind of add to the um, you can add to the artwork that's already there. Um, so yeah, it was fun doing, I'm not really sure where those birds came from. She looks like a, she's a tarantula mm. lady, but there's a lot of, look at, there's a lot of, so we only got to page 25 and there are over 300 pages. Wow. So this would be, if you know, if we, uh, really stuck with it, this would be quite the, quite the book. We should do one tonight. I think Should we do so. it right now? Uh, yeah, let's get a. Um, Where's the pen? I have at? those black. Uh, yeah, I have those black pens in my, uh, the front of my backpack, maybe. Just a really, there's a really good ink pen. Uh, other one, other one. Other one, other one, other one, other one, other one. It should be in my um, my pencil my pencil case. Uh, let's look at what we have to. Um, this one. Uh, yeah. That one is good. Let's look at what we have to work with. Oh, there's another one. Uh, there's another one, because I think I skipped a page, so oh. we can keep it alternating. Okay. One to the back. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. One to the back. Okay. So do we want to start with you yeah. on this one? Yeah. All right. So here's what it says normally. So while Michael had climbed down and up his ladder every day to keep in practice, he still preferred to hang out the upstairs front window. Poor Michael, Mrs. Wood said. Look at those sad brown eyes. It just doesn't like running around in the country, is it? All German shepherds have sad eyes, Mr. Wood said. It doesn't mean a thing. Well, I still think that if we lived in the country, um, said Miss Wood, hiding behind his newspaper. Oh. Okay, right, so that's you, a lot to pull from. Yeah, if you want to talk right now, I can... Oh, yeah, do you want to try to... Um, 
maybe uh, maybe we can get started or one of us started on a conversation or something. Yeah. Uh, we could think. Uh, well, we're we're up to in classes. Yeah, I do have a, um, I do have an English paper due on Friday. I have an art history test due or uh, on Friday as well. Um, art history is a I enjoy I enjoy art history. Uh, it's a lot of memorization. Right now we have, I think there's around, there's over 90 artworks for this exam. Jeez. That we have to, we have to know, and then a little over 80 vocab terms. So it's what kind are some of vocab terms, on, ideas, or I mean, like. What are some vocab terms? Uh, colonnade, hemispherical arch. What? Uh, pediment. Those sound like medical terms. Like, I don't know, th- those are like ones that just come, that came to my head just because, but some of them are better, like, some of them are normal, like, pillar, like, just, uh, just ones that I've written down, so uh, I probably put more words in the Quizlet than, than I needed to, just because I've just kind of thrown stuff in there to make sure I have everything covered, but, test there, uh, class, we can talk about, a little bit about classes for next semester, Ben and I have both, within this next week, we will be, it's crazy that a semester has already gone past. Yeah. It's weird, it's, uh, I don't know if it seems like it's been. I think I've just kind of settled. I've settled yeah, into. Yeah, I feel. I feel like. It's I was just thinking to myself, that, like college feels like it's been my life for a long time now. Yeah. Like it feels like I don't remember what life was like before college. <laughs> I think. I think with uh, with regular with schooling up into this point, it's weird because, people go to school and their home and school are separated. And it's very like, it's very it's a very stark difference between like, being at school with teachers and friends, and then being at home with siblings and parents. Mm-hmm. And here you're always at the you're always, on campus, so you always have opportunities. You may have class late, class super early. You're eating here, so it's really just kind of. The day passes, and there's not really anything to speed up or slow it down. But it's always it's I think it's tra- time is traveling it a little bit faster rate than normal at least that's how it uh feels to me but yeah we're so we're for this next semester we're trying to um figure out what classes we we have so this next week i think both of us are actually signing up on the 11th yeah um for priority or whatever the heck but so i've kind of figured out what what classes i want to take i think i'm i don't know if i've talked about here but i'm i may be thinking I I don't know if I want to say I'm definitely doing computer science until or uh, unless things or uh, just in case things take a turn for the worse because uh, I think it's di- it's gonna be difficult I don't know if I can I'm really gonna try for it but I think it'll be difficult it'll be a challenge and I think that's good uh, but I'll be taking a uh, computer science one so that's kind of an introductory thing uh, calculus two which will be very difficult I think that's probably going to be my, take up most of my time during the day. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, world religions. Uh, what, what's that class like? I don't know. I think they cover a lot. There's like, a, if I can remember, there's like Taoism, Judaism, Hinduism, uh, Christianity, Buddhism. So it's interesting. I mean, it sounds super interesting. And my, th- my thing is, that I think they, they cover enough. They cover a large enough number of religions that I think each one's just going to be kind of not a, not a skim on the surface necessarily but they'll only go in a little bit to each religion so I'm, I'm kind of excited and then my last <coughs> class is meteorology which is a science class uh, two hour lab hmm. somewhere during my week so uh, I think that's I think it's time for a poem it. oh yeah so Ben, ben has got his poem alright get your fingers ready for, to snap Snap along, kids. All right. Michael preferred to hang. Poor Michael. Um. (laughs) I like that. (laughs) That's good. You know? Michael preferred to hang. Poor Michael. Um. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, yeah. Ben, and then with black air poems, you're like, you black out the rest of the paragraph. That's kind of what makes the, uh, the poem a blackout poem, I suppose. So Ben always does very creative very creative uh, blackouts, curvy lines. Some lines, slanted, straight slant lines. Slanted lines. Yeah. Line lines. Line lines. 
those double lines. What uh, what what do you have cooking for classes? What do I have cooking for classes? All right, so, all right, boys, I'm thinking about it. Majoring in English. If you're a girl, get out. Get out. Uh, right. Because <laughs> you're like, all right, all right, boys. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, this I'm a, this is a boy talk now. <laughs> all right, now that all the girls have left, let's 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 talk. I'm thinking about majoring in English. Really? <laughs> yeah. No. So, um, because I was talking to my mom, because I was thinking that or psychology, and she's like, "All right, psychology. Everybody has a psychology degree. Mm-hmm. That's what my mom was telling me." And I looked it up. UNL, I think, graduates. Psychology is like the has the most people majoring in it. I think that's what it was. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah. I'm not surprised. So it's, and then she asked me, like, do you actually really have a passion for psychology? And I was like, no, not really. So then she was like, all right, then why not just do English then? Mm-hmm. You know, because it's, you're going to have the same chances either way of getting a job, you know? So I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. So English, is there anything, as far as, like, just finding out, like, thinking about that you would like to have an English degree? Um what kind of like for computer science I have no idea what jobs you could get would do it whatever your dad does I mean I have a little bit of an idea but not that much nothing specific do you like computers they're okay <laughs> I mean honestly I don't know I think we've talked about may I mean we definitely talked about majors at the beginning yeah or kind of what we were thinking but like or you asked me what classes I had in mind yeah my thing my thing was that I don't think there's nothing that I'm I'm well to start I'm kind of like I consider myself to be really indecisive mm-hmm. and so and I don't feel like I have a passion yeah. for any for anything that's for like, anything for, <laughs> for you know I've lost I've lost my uh, my lust for life okay that makes uh, sense no but I don't have a passion for like and you know some people are like immediately they want to do something with from business the, or from medical the from the they get fell go. out of their mother they were like the minute they're shot out of their mother's womb onto yeah, the floor they're like I want to be a dentist yeah. I want to be an astronaut yeah I never there's never a moment for me like that yeah. except for maybe when I was like I want to be a cameraman yeah or you know whatever or like uh, me when I was like six I said I wanted to be a cowboy yeah what did I say I wanted to be something marine biologist or a something but I don't, right now I'm not feeling that, so I'm like, okay, if I can get through, what I do understand about computer science is that there are, with a computer science degree, there are a lot of, there are a lot of ways I could go. Mm-hmm. And so I understand that enough to realize that even if I don't, there's going to be something that I'll be okay doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's how I, that's how I look at it. And okay. um, so if I can get through the program mm-hmm. successfully, then I think that it'll, it'll be a good fit. Anything yeah. that's like, I just, I, you know what I wish with, with college is that, that, I don't know, maybe with life. I just want to be forced. I just want to like have someone tell me what to do. That's socialism, Ethan. I want to That's ha- fascism, Ethan. Well, then I don't know. I don't know what to <laughs> say about that. But, um. I just, I mean, that's definitely, no one can argue that that wouldn't be easier. No. No. (laughs) Like, because it's so much, you know, for some people, it's so much stress trying to figure out and forcing themselves into a position they don't want to be. Why not just have someone else make that decision? (coughs) For you. And just be as unhappy as you would have been. And just, like, learn to like it. Because I think that's what I'm going to do. I mean, really, with college, all you have to do is just... Just do it. Just like. Just do it. Not we're not sponsored. That's what it was. What is it? That's what my intro was gonna what be. What was your intro? All right, we're restarting oh, right now. Oh god. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to the Beanie Podcast episode Dang thirteen. Dang it. Dang it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <sighs> That's what it was gonna be. You gotta say it. Ethan. Shoot. We, we just Should restarted. I say it next time? We, no, we just restarted. No, we've been recording. <laughs> no, we just restarted, Ethan. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you say the intro again. Hey Let's guys, go. welcome back to episode thirteen. Uh, we have actually welcome a back to the, intro. the B&E, podcast. B&E podcast. This episode is sponsored by Me Undies. <laughs> the what? I was gonna look. I was gonna say what my intro idea was is we're gonna we're going to introduce ourselves and then I was gonna say we're sponsored by blank. Okay. And then I was gonna Wait, just gonna Me Undies. Yeah, Me Undies. What's Me That's undies? not. It's a. Uh, it's like a. 
brand that makes like th- themed, like monthly themed uh, undergarments. Yeah, undergarments like oh. uh, onesies and like regular like box, onesies. boxers, like regular underwear. But they also make like onesies and stuff, and that's like it's a really popular. Uh, sponsor for podcasts. Oh, really? Yeah. And so I just thought that I would I would say, like, this episode is sp- sponsored by blank, and then, like, have a little tagline, or, like, go into a reading. Okay. You know, when people have to read yeah, a certain yeah. amount. <sighs> All right. We're restarting. Well, again. I may All have right. to... Uh, Guys, welcome back to the Beanie Podcast. This is episode 13, sponsored by Nike, Just Do It. All right. <laughs> so, now... Dude, getting back... I, I don't know how much. I want to... Dang it. <laughs> dang it. <laughs> what? I wish I could have remembered that. Should we really restart the episode no, now just because of this? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I think what I may do is cut this part out. No, no, no. Okay, no one. All right, fine. I'll start. I'll start it. I'll start it with the MeUndies um, sponsor uh, next time. Okay. So if who's ever listening now listens to the next episode, uh, it's not going to be as fun for you. <laughs> but uh, but uh, that's the price to pay for listening to this podcast. Yeah. Now we're we're just oh yeah college it was a little bit depressing um, yeah. so I really believe that as long as you don't screw yourself with the classes that you're taking yeah I honestly think that like just do it like just just do it just like get the stuff done yeah just like you're in it don't don't skip class don't not work on assignments mm-hmm. you're like you're you're in college you've kind of you're in this position where you you just literally just need to do the work yeah. Um, I'm, I'm looking at, I just have, like, two classes right now. I'm, I'm that you have? At, yeah, that I'm looking at right now. Okay. One of them is, uh, fiction writing. I don't know if I could ever, I'm gonna, I think I may, I'm gonna have to take a writing class, but. Mm, I think you should do it. It's, I know I, I should do it, but. I think, I think it's, it's tough. I'm gonna, I'm it'll going to put you out, out of your, out of your comfort zone, you know? The thing, a, create a. Fiction writing class mm-hmm. specifically, yeah, because I feel okay with research mm-hmm. um, papers. It's just creative. I hate like in AP English with the but the, a creative the person, worst though. section that we had was was personal narrative. Oh, like creative nonfiction. I hated that. There's an entire class writing and creative, but like fiction. by yourself. I I hate writing about myself. I oh. hate writing. That's the that's the absolute worst. That's cool is because in creative nonfiction, it's basically fiction but with a tagline of, yeah, this probably happens sometime. I maybe it could be fun. I want the thing is I wanna I wanna try to maybe getting into a fiction writing class would be good for me because I want to I want to be forced. I want to be have a reason to be writing this stuff. And I think I I, I think it'd be cool. If I could yeah. devote some time to writing, mm-hmm. I think it'd be fun. What about what do you think of poetry? Well, um, if I could ca- if I could get the same poetry for me when I think about it, it's like a uh, it's a more it's a dense it's denser mm-hmm. than it's dense it can it can be denser than a story it can be denser oh, yeah. than like a novel. Uh, mm-hmm. I would just want to get the same ideas across. Like what I really love about uh, fiction writing is the ability to really do whatever. And really create, mm-hmm. you know, whatever whatever world scene, building. whatever world, whatever attributes you want to give the characters, or you know, whatever you want to do. I think that's the coolest thing. And so, if you can do that with poetry, um, which which is, uh, to me means uh, cutting it down. Poetry's hard, dude. And um, and formatting it a yeah. little bit more, mm-hmm. um, fitting it into whatever genre of poetry uh, you want. I think if you can do that, then poetry can be cool. Yeah. If I was good at fiction, if I was good at writing uh, creative stories, I think I would like that more, but I think poetry has it. I, I, I would enjoy it. I, I had this idea when I was driving the other day um, that poetry is like the parts in books that, that hit you and make you kind of put the book down and be like, whoa. Mm. You know? But it, it's just poetry is just bo- taking everything out of it and just has and that. And just giving you that. Giving you that part. Yeah. You know? I mean, because poetry, like, this, it, the good poems will have something that, that like, creates impact. Yeah. In such a short amount of time. Yeah. Because that's really what they're lacking is just words, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Unless it's, like, Beowulf or something. Is that a poem? Yeah, it's and an it's epic a long, poem. It's a long, epic poem. Or Paradise Lost. It's a, it's a novel length, but it's a poem. 
What now? What classifies a poem? Um, I think it's just. I don't know if you say it's a poem. It's a poem. <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay. No, that's interesting. It was. It was cool. So we're starting our poetry unit in um creative writing class, and uh, Scott was like, "All right, I want so." I can tell all of you, mostly all of you, hate poetry, and everyone's like, yeah. And he's like, all right, tell me what you don't like about poetry. And then we had about six or seven things on the board, and he said, all right, you don't have to do any of this stuff. And it was, like, too many rules, sonnets, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. He's like, "He's like, I'm taking this out of the curriculum. And, and we're <laughs> like, whoa, do you have the power to do that? <laughs> and he's like, probably not, but, uh, but we're going to do it anyway. So I think... We're just probably going to do, like, free verse poetry and stuff mm. like that. And uh, it's going to be fun. So you, you haven't started that yet? You're just no. getting to it? Yeah. Our first... So we had our... He introduced it on Tuesday. Yesterday, actually. And um, we just had to find a poem that we liked that spoke to us and then write a one-page response on it. Okay. So then I chose uh, my favorite Bukowski poem and then just wrote about that. So, and I, I got it done last night, so it was, it was pretty easy. Um, and then I think he's gonna give us an actual assignment tomorrow. Okay, which means like an actual like uh, your own. Yeah, your own poem. Okay, that's cool. But I tried writing poetry last night too. I couldn't do it. Poetry is tough. I, I think. couldn't do it. It's tough. Yeah. Uh, do you think it helped to expose yourself to different poems? <laughs> yeah, other people? I think so. Because Charles Bukowski is the only poet that I've ever re read. Yeah, poetry's odd, because I think there's a lot of, like, you, we mentioned the epic poems, there's also so many, like, shorter, Oh, well, I guess I read more Paradise stylized. Lost, but I'm more so, I read it, had no idea what was going on, looked at a summary of the chapter, was like, alright, <laughs> and then read the next chapter, had no idea what was going summary. on, summary, and then did that the whole book. What is Paradise Lost about? It's about, um, it's a retelling of Genesis, of the Bible, I think, or no, it's, oh. basically, it just tells the story of Adam and Eve, and the fall of Lucifer, and that's it. Hmm. Paradise Lost. What have I? Is and it like a TV show or something? Paradise Lost. Um, it's what a am band, I thinking? But you, pr it's I don't. They're like a doom metal band from Sweden. <laughs> no, I'm probably not. Sweden. Sweden. Uh, Paradise. Par What's that dinosaur? Pterosaurus. No. Well, the dinosaur, like, TV show, Paradise, uh, Dinosaur. Land Before Time? Oh, yeah, that's it. Land Before Time. Yeah. I always, like, go back and, and see, like, the characters, and it brings back a lot of memories, mm -hmm. but I've never, like, listened. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna tune in for just a second. Oh, we're gonna get an ad. Oh. That guy looked like your you dad. Play that. You think so? <laughs> I just want to hear the voices. You're like skip and halfway there, through. And there was a because uh, the intro is really iconic, isn't it? Is they have a song? This is a TV show. Is it? When was this? This is 28, this is released in 2018. Oh, that's... That's Duck Duck, right? Oh, <gasps> Duck Duck. Is that, is that the character's name? Say, what's that swimming thing that isn't Ducky? Ducky. <laughs> Ducky. Or do you think that that's what they just called him? Oh, look at them. They found the thing in the water. Oh, I remember that guy. He couldn't talk because he... Oh yeah, what the heck? <laughs> he's like just groaning. Yeah. <laughs> Is there he's, a singing? He's, like a, he's in Are they constant singing? like Pain. emotional <laughs> anguish. He's severely depressed. You know, I think I may have seen the. I think most of my my memories come from the, come from the movie. Yeah, like definitely. From whenever it was. Wild. I remember that one time. Do you have any? I had like I had one movie that just was destroying me mentally because I like couldn't remember. Oh. I couldn't. I remember it was just like there was a few. There was two villains and they were heads on springs, or they were like 
bodies with springs for legs. And um, <laughs> it was destroying me mentally because I couldn't, like... What's the movie? I couldn't... I don't know. <laughs> I found it at the beginning. It was towards the beginning of the semester is when I was thinking about it. But um, I found it finally. And uh, I was like, oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and it's just weird. But I saw it in theater, and that's definitely not a movie that would, like, be shown in theaters. So I don't know what's going on. Kids, kids' brain, like... You ever think, you ever look at kids and you're like, they, they like, five years from now, they're going to have no idea that, like, they even existed. Like, looking back, you can't remember. Like, as a yeah. kid, you have no, like... Concept of You have reality. no concept of anything. Like, what is it? There's no way you can, you can really break down what a kid is, like, seeing and... Yeah. Like, theoretically, you can. Like, oh, they're seeing this. They recognize this. Like, yeah. they've done studies. But, like, what is that kid experiencing? I don't mm-hmm. think you can ever... I don't think you can ever capture that movie movie with villains that had springs yeah Dougal Dougal there it is I remember seeing a poster for that Dougal Uh, the mad right because there's a magic uh, oh wait what there's Dougal and then there's the mat that was in 2006 and Dougal's a character from the movie that I watched and the movie is the magic roundabout (laughs) Whoa. The magic Dude, this goes that. deep. Yeah. So, it looks like it was a TV show, and then this is the movie? G, okay, so this is in 2005, so I would have been like... You would have been four? Yeah. So I get that, I mean, that makes sense, maybe. But it's weird, it's like cheap. And that's oh, what's yeah. weird, is why, why, like, how did they have this in theaters? I don't know. <gasps> Whoa, dude, I just got huge deja vu right there. It's just weird. Whoa. It, did you see it, do you think? I feel like I saw I saw a trailer like, look at, for look this, at this movie. Look at this, look at this. These weird, like, spring... Spring characters. Whoa, what? Dude, I'm remembering this. They're like suppressed. I'm remembering this. They're like suppressed memories. What else? What else do you think? Did you have? Do you have anything else that comes to mind? The problem is, is that you wouldn't remember it. But yeah. Look up kids' movies from the mid two thousands. Two hundreds. It's like a uh, rock hit. So, all right, people. Uh, two thousands kids' movies. Hmm. Like these are these are. I don't know. Scooby-Doo. These are, these are the good ones. Yeah, these are you know, you have to get a little bit uh you have to get a little bit iffy, I think. Yeah. You have to get you have to go to the bottom, you know, a little bit a little bit above the bottom of the barrel. List of children's films Wikipedia. That is That would be a lot. Is a lot. Oh, these are rated. That's not good. Um The Magic. What if you look up The Magic? Someone's Michael it's in the hallway. I'm gonna look up the magic roundabout and then try to. We're gonna do some. Do you think similar? You could look like similar. People also search for the herbs, <laughs> <laughs> the wombles, okie doke, clangers, danger mouse, Paddington bear. Here's one. Here's one thing that I can't. It's horrifying to me. What? I imagine that it's either a game that I played mm-hmm. or a. Or a uh, a movie that I saw, but it had there's a all I can remember is like a two D. You're looking at it from the side, so it's like a sky, side scroller. If yeah. you can imagine it, yeah. there's like a rat in a sewer, and that's all I remember. I remember it was an old. I, what I think it is, it's an old computer game. Flushed away. No, not flushed away. But I remember there's also a game that I played that was 
like a it's their old really old computer games okay and it's so weird because i only had like fragments and like yeah base images and it's scary it's like it's scary <laughs> it's overwhelming to me. yeah flower pot men oh yeah, the horrifying. other the other class i'm looking at that i didn't mention is history of rock music I'm gonna see what's going on. There's some things going on. They're having some serious. I can't remember what I can't remember okay that's that's it that's it from that But it's weird, it's like the, uh, it would have been the beginning of 3D modeling and video games, I think. Anyway, okay, all right, 42 minutes. Okay, well that's where we're going to, uh, that's where we're going to leave off. Heck yeah. Uh, episode, I'm gonna get back to uh, working on some English. It was nice to take a break and have a little chat. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, thank you, as always, guys. Just thank do you it. so Just much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for listening. We really, we really do appreciate it. Mm. We really do appreciate mm. it. Yeah. We I don't do. like that. Okay, see you guys later.